Making comparisons in Spanish, sometimes if the comparisons are simple ones, like somebody is more than somebody else or menos than somebody else, you have mas adjetivo que and menos adjetivo que. So in the picture, if we're trying to say the girl is taller than the boy, we would say la chica es mas alto que el chico. If we were trying to say that the boy is shorter than the girl, we might say el chico es menos alto que la chica. Now, we've simply said that the boy is less tall than the girl, but in English we would have said the boy is shorter than the girl. To say somebody's older than or younger than somebody else, it's really simple. To say somebody's older, you're going to say mayor que. So, mi hermana es mayor que yo. My sister is older than I am. However, if I wanted to say I'm younger, I would use menor que. Yo soy menor que Pablo. I am younger than Pablo. So mayor que is older than and menor que is younger than. If you were simply trying to say that something's better than something else, like using cola, Coca-Cola, and Pepsi, if you wanted to say Coca-Cola is better than Pepsi, you would say Coca-Cola es mejor que Pepsi. However, maybe you like Pepsi and you want to say Coca-Cola is worse than Pepsi. Then you would say Coca-Cola es peor que Pepsi. Again, Mejor que is better than, and peor que is worse than. Now, if you're making comparisons and saying that two things are equal in intangible ways, in other words, these are things that it's not quantifiable, it's opinion, you would use tan Adjetivo en como, right? So you would say, for example, La música de Shakira es tan popular como la música de Enrique Iglesias. The music of Shakira is, is as popular as the music of Enrique Iglesias. Now, if you wanted to say or make the comparison that they're not equal, okay, not equal, you would simply put a null in front of the verb S. So in this case, it would be la música de Shakira no es tan popular como la música de Enrique Iglesias. The music of Shakira isn't as popular as the music of Enrique Iglesias. That's how you compare two things or say that two things are equal or unequal in an intangible way. Now, if you're going to make the comparison and say that two things are equal in tangible ways, in other words, ways that are quantifiable, you can actually count it and see it, then you would use tanto como. So in this case, comparing Shakira to Enrique Iglesias, you would say Shakira tiene tanto dinero como Enrique Iglesias. Shakira has as much money as Enrique Iglesias. And again, if you wanted to make it unequal and say she didn't have as much money, you would simply put the no in front of the tiene. Shakira no tiene tanto dinero como Enrique Iglesias. Shakira doesn't have as much money as Enrique Iglesias. 
It also works in other ways. Um, if you were talking about a classroom, you could say, Hay tantos estudiantes en la clase de español como hay en la clase de inglés. inglés. Okay, so you have hay, which means there is or there are. So there is as many tantos estudiantes, students, there is as many students in la clase de español as como hay en la clase de inglés. There's as many students in the Spanish class as there is in the English class. Okay, as a review, más adjetivo que and menos adjetivo que mean more than and less than mayor que and Menor que mean older than and younger than. Mejor que y peor que are better than and worse than tan adjetivo como tan adjetivo como is how you compare two things in a way that's not quantifiable opinion like as handsome as or as successful as and tanto noun como is how you compare things or say that things are equal in a way that is quantifiable. So you can say it's like as many students as or as much money as is tanto plus noun plus como. I've posted this video to YouTube so that my students will always have access to it and they'll be able to come back and look at com making comparisons again as many times as they need to to master it. However, if you need to get in touch with me, you can always do so at Senor Denim.